in GLSL, we have these four special functions to handle floating point variables. And because of complexity of data storages in various hardware, including issues related to Indianness, basically the byte order of the values in memory, like little Indian and big Indian, also with issues related to the way numbers can be stored in databases, Sometimes um, it's very useful to pass float as integer um, and uh, vice versa integer as float, uh, simply because on most hardware platforms uh, and compilers, uh, flat and integer are both the same size, 32 bits. Okay, so they occupy the same size in memory. So GLSL has the support for converting a floating point uh, to an int um, and backward. Okay, so we have these two functions to do the conversions. Uh, next, we also have these two functions here that determine whether a float is something called not a number and infinity. So this function, for example, if x uh, is infinity, it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. So while something uh, like infinity uh, may sound fascinating, it is actually really bad news for most programs uh, because uh, it's just a result of dividing something by zero, which of course is an undefined operation in math. Uh, but if you just happen to divide by zero, you could use this function uh, to see if the result is infinity or not. Well, I put together some notes for you. Let me just close these uh, files. All right, so here we go. And these notes summarize the ideas about infinity and other weird thing called not a number. If you're using integer arithmetic and you divide by zero, CPU just aborts the program. It just terminates the program and reports the exception to uh, to the operating environment. With floating point numbers, it it's different. Uh, it is just totally silent. Instead, the result of dividing uh, one non-zero uh, floating point number by a zero generates the value that's known in infinity. So basically, if you want infinity, just say something divided by zero. Um, and uh, if you include the, the, the math uh, header, uh, math.h in C or cmath in C++, uh, you get these two functions that are very similar to what we have in GLSL. Is infinity, and you can see that there are two, actually there are two varieties here. You can divide a positive value by zero, and uh, this way you get a positive infinity or you can get a negative number divided by zero and you're going to get a negative infinity. All right, so there are two varieties of these infinities, but both, but, but uh, regardless which one this is, is infinity will report true if it's uh, either one or the other. So internally, uh, with respect to the sine, exponent, and fraction, uh, what gets stored uh, for the infinity value is uh, you get um, a sine, which is 0 or 1. Exponent is set, all exponent bits are set uh, to 1. And the fraction is set to 0. All bits in the, in the mantissa part are set to 0. Now, how would you come up with this not a number uh, concept? Uh, this happens when you divide 0 by 0. So this uh, generates uh, not a number combination, and it's very similar to this. So the sign can be 0 or 1 regardless. The exponent is 1, but the fraction or mantissa part of the uh, floating point number is any non-zero bit pattern. So that just differs from infinity by this part of non-zero bit pattern uh, in the mantissa part. So this is how you generate this, okay? So you, uh, you generate 0 divided by 0. But also if you take a square root of a negative 1, for example, right? So this will also return 
a not a number result because it's just uh, the operation is undefined that's the meaning of these special uh, special uh, values in floating point standard uh, also there is very very strange uh, uh, not not to say strange but that's by by definition um, that condition w when uh, you have not a number okay so you can uh, either call this function is not a number to find out if if it's not a number or you can just make a comparison uh, of this value with itself if it's not a number and both of these sides are not a number it is always returns false right so it's like a unique situation where you would think that if something equals something and you would, you want to test for equality so this would all always be true so for the floating point number when it's a a not a number value it's always false okay so that's just something for you to know uh, that uh, sometimes you could see a code like this and you might think what is happening here so that's a check for not a number okay so we get these two infinity and not a number so in addition to this the latest uh, standard of c++ has uh, limits um, a header file in the standard library and there you can actually instead of doing this okay which actually requires some sort of uh, cpu resources to be consumed to actually produce the value right you can you can actually go to numeric limits and specify if you want infinity for a floating point or infinity for a double point okay so you can you can just get them as constants directly from the library header and likewise uh, so both of these available for positive and negative infinity uh, like this so you can just uh, invert the sign and it'll just flip the sign uh, in this number so these are just few of my notes about these uh, special types of values that uh, the floating point data type can have as a result of division by zero or also division zero by zero so this finalizes our overview of glsl features uh, and uh, in glsl you can also have structures of data as they define in c and you can also define arrays of variables just like you also define arrays in C programming language.